Hello everyone, good morning. This is Denise Adams. If you don't know who I am, I'm Denise Adams. Welcome to our broadcast today. This is 2020, your year of vision, of focus, and obtaining. Hallelujah, I'm so glad you're here with me today. We're gonna to be talking about some great things today. Come on in everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad you're here with me today. Oh, we're going to be talking about, let me see, oh, so many things. But um, this today, today is, this is the title for today. It's called The Colt, The Fig Tree, and The Mountain. Good morning, good morning, good morning, family. Good morning to you. Hallelujah. It's a good day. I am so glad to be with you today. Hello, Hannah. Hello, Sandra Dawn. Hello, Pamela. Hello, I saw somebody else there, a few other people. Hello. Um, James, hello, where are you? Elizabeth, yes, there you are. God bless you. Oops, I lost. There we go. Here we go. I'm so glad you're here with me today. We're going to be talking about, are you ready? Oh, the cult. We talked about the cult yesterday. The fig tree and the mountain, but so much more. So much more. God has so much for you this year. Man, I'm excited about this. I'm excited about what God is doing online. Hello, Don and Miriam. We're going to be doing great things today. Cameron, God bless you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm so glad you're with me today. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Word of God. And I have a word. I have a word for you. I have a word just for you today. Are you ready? You get your seatbelt, get locked in and ready to go because God's going to change your life. You know, we're talking about vision and focus and we talked about things that this is your year a fresh vision and fresh focus. Hallelujah. And obtaining. Hello, Amanda. God bless you, woman of God. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Woo, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is a year of seeing and believing. Glory to God, hallelujah. A seeing and believing, hallelujah. Oh, my, my, my. See, you have to see before you can believe. You have to see it before you can believe it. You have to look it in the eye. You have to see what God is seeing. You have to see from his heartbeat. Oh, hallelujah, I'm just gonna turn down some music here. There we go. Praise God. You have to see it to believe it. Glory to the Lord Almighty. Amen. <laughs> wow, wow. We've been talking about so many things. You know, I talked about fo focus and having laser focus. Uh, I talked about how um, we can look at a magnifying glass and if you if you take it, the sun at its hottest point and you uh, use a, um, a uh, magnifying glass, you can actually burn, um, we've seen it burn uh, 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 leaves. When I was a little kid, you know, here, I live on the West Coast where it rains all the time. This was like, you know, a few, a few decades ago. This is when I was like 10, you know, we get out the magnifying glass and see what we could do. And uh, uh, we would see if we could make a leaf burn. That was so much fun when we were little kids. It was safe. We weren't in doing anything wrong here. But uh, anyways, that's what we did. Oh, I don't know if I'd allow my kids to do that now, but you know what I'm saying. Hallelujah. So we are though, I want to tell you, you are, you are God's instrument of focus. God, God, God wants to use you to focus in on, on the dreams that he's given you. He wants you to have laser focus so that you're just gonna burn through everything that's not supposed to be there. You're just gonna make a hole and a way to get to where you need to be uh, so that souls can be saved, so that you'll have um, um, provision in your house, so that you'll have health in your body, so that you'll have every good thing that Jesus has for you. Oh, praise God. Good morning, everyone. God bless you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm so glad you're with me today. I'm excited. And so, um, you know, you're God's instrument of fire. You're his instrument. Can you say that to yourself about yourself? Can you be bold and say, I am God's instrument of fire. I am God's instrument of focus. I am what God is going to use in the earth today to bring change, not only for my life, but for the lives of everybody around me. That's who you are. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. I got my special cup out. Now, it's backwards to you, but it says Miracle Worker. This was given to me on my 50th birthday a while back, many years ago, and uh, from a dear friend. And I love this mug because what it does, it just, just lets me know that I'm God's instrument, that he's going to fill with his goodness. Hallelujah. To use and be poured out over the earth. I like that. He's the miracle worker who lives, and I live in him, and he lives in me. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So I hope you have your cup of tea or coffee or whatever you're drinking, uh, you know, herbal tea, whatever it is. I hope you have your cup because God's going to fill it up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He is. He really is. You know, in, um, in uh, Mark chapter 11 we were there yesterday praise god praise god and um oh hallelujah uh it was so we talked about how uh, uh the purpose of it, uh, seeing and saying the word of knowledge and the word of wisdom and how they dovetail together usually the gifts of the spirit they dovetail together to produce results in the earth and how jesus could say a word and everything would change according to what he said. Hallelujah. Word of knowledge deals with something that may have happened in someone's past that's happened before, or just prior, just prior to that moment. Amen. Jesus walked in the word of knowledge all the time, all the time. Throughout the Bible, you'll see it in in um, in the. If you go to the Gospels, you'll see that. And we're to walk like him. We're to be Christ-like. We're to imitate Christ. Paul says, imitate me like I imitate Christ, like I imitate the Messiah. But we're to imitate Jesus Christ. We're to do what he did, the works that he did. He says, greater works, greater, greater works shall you do. You know, someone's got to say hallelujah to that one because, you know, you got to believe it. If you, you have to see it and you have to believe it. Now, amen, because Jesus said so. And I have learned let me give you a secret here. I have learned. Good morning. God bless you. Um, I have learned over the years. Oh, I have learned over the years that I have to believe every word that Jesus said. Because you know why? It's the truth. And everything must shift to the truth. His word of wisdom has the ability to bring it to pass. It has the power to bring it to pass. What he said. What he said he'd do. He will do and continues to do even today. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. I see I see Jesus right now going into your future and creating a path of pleasant places, places where you will walk on the on the graces of God to fulfill your destiny in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Our lives have fallen on pleasant places we have a goodly heritage. We talked about that. That was, um, that was Psalm sixteen six, I believe. Let me look. Let me look. Let me look here. But I think so. I think so. Hallelujah. Does anyone remember? Where is that? I gotta look it up. I've got my papers here. Ah, here it is. Psalm sixteen six. Let me read it to you. Oh Jesus, thank you, Lord. Here it is. Yes, I receive your grace and I receive your prayers. You need to be praying for this girl here. Hallelujah. I'm believing for great miracles, great salvations. Oh, oh, millions of people say, I'm believing for it. Glory to God. Okay, okay, here it is. Psalm 16, 6. You ready? Okay. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Get your pointy finger out and do this. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. Hallelujah. I have set the Lord always before me. Mm, love it. I love the word of God. Hallelujah. This is your year of steely-eyed focus. You are going to be so focused this year that the God dreams that God has placed within your heart for all eternity will be coming to pass this year. And they're going to be coming forth like popcorn. They're going to be popping out like that. They're going to be popping out in your life. Things that were going to take you 10 to 20 years to happen are going to be like that. It's going to happen that fast. Hallelujah. This is a year that God is doing it. Your plan A that God has given you 
is coming to pass this year in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about this. Amen. That's the plan that God has for us. It's a year of uncompromising faith. You know, it's the year where you say, God said it, that's it. God said it, that's it. That's it. Hallelujah. I'm believing that with you. Amen. I, and the last thing before we go into the teaching for today is the defenses of the enemy are down. Yes, there's that scripture. I love that. The defenses of the enemy are down. Why? Because Jesus defeated the devil. Now we have to enforce the victory. Hallelujah. Jesus said in uh, John 16, 33, in this world, you will have challenges. You will have trouble, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. I have deprived it of power to harm you. And what that means, glory to God, what that means is that you may have some stuff, but be steely-eyed with your focus. Be steely-eyed with the vision and watch God bring it to pass. Hallelujah. God will bring it to pass. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Well, let's go. Let's get our Bibles out. You got your Bible? I got my Bible. Got my Bible. Mm, I love my Bible. It's God's holy word. It's powerful. It will change my life. It will change my destiny. It has the power. It has the power to bring every word to pass in my life because it's God's word. It's full of dunamis. It's full of life. It's full of victory. It's full of dominion. Hallelujah. I am so thrilled about that, that it will come to pass. Glory to God. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you want to inbox me, please do it after the broadcast because right now I'm focused on you. Right now I'm focused on the people I'm watching and I want to be able to get that word out to you today. Amen. Glory to God. Mm. Okay, let's look at the word here in uh, Mark chapter 11. Glory to God. Verse. Well, yesterday we read verses uh, 1 through um, uh, 6 and 7. But let's continue on. And we see that um, um, Jesus got ticked off at uh, the, the people. He did because of their attitude they um he had um cleaned out the temple in verse 10 amen but i want to move on to verse 12 okay so in verse 12 hallelujah it says on the moral oh see my cat we have a uh, my cat is making her cameo appearances she'll do that kind of makes it fun this is my house so you know Welcome to my home. Hallelujah. Okay, verse, verse, verse 12. And on the morrow, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. He was hungry. And seeing a fig tree afar off, having leaves, he came. And if happily, he might find some, anything thereon. Anything. You want to look for anything. And there was, when he came to it, he didn't find anything but leaves. For the time of the figs was not yet. And Jesus Jesus answered and said unto him, No man eat fruit. Listen to this. No man eat fruit of the tree, of the hereafter forever. And his disciples heard him saying that. Oh, oh. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? And would not suffer that any man should... Hmm. Hmm. Hang on. I'm losing my place here. This is so exciting. This is so exciting. Hallelujah. Praise God. Everyone pray in tongues a minute. Hallelujah. Here we go. Okay. So he he cursed the fig tree. He told the fig tree, this is it. This is it. No one's going to eat fruit from you forever. The purpose of the fig tree was dried up at the roots. Its purpose was destroyed. It had no reason to continue on. Its purpose was to bear fruit. Oh, its purpose was to bear figs. Oh my, oh my, do we get that? Well, the disciples heard it too. They heard it too. 
Hallelujah. Okay, so we see that uh, Jesus cast out those who um, who had used the uh, church to make money. And um, he called it a den of thieves. And he cast it out. I, it makes me so sad to hear that. Well, it continues on. After he does that, let's move on down to uh, verse 20. It says, in, in the morning, there goes my cat. And in, this is hilarious. I just find every distraction in Jesus' name. I just thank you for grace, 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 grace in Jesus' name. Oh, thank you, Lord God Almighty. It's kind of funny, but very distracting. Very distracting. Okay, the power of faith, verse 20. And in the morning, everyone say, and in the morning. And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter called to remembrance, saying unto him, Master, look, the fig tree which you have cursed is withered at the roots. It's withered away. And this is where I want to get to today. Y'all know this verse, but let's look at it like we've never seen this word before. Because this is a word that will change your destiny. You know, Kenneth Hagin Sr. taught this for many, many years. And it's ours to listen to afresh and to grab afresh. Hallelujah. All right, here we go. Verse 22. And Jesus answered them. Are you ready? Have faith in God. Some versions say, have the God kind of faith. Now, we're going to get a whole lot of noise in the background. This is a funny day. Everyone, you just got to laugh sometime. We're going to keep on going. I'm hearing construction vehicles in the background. All right. Have the God kind of faith. Have the God kind of faith. Amen? Have the God kind of faith. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever, are you a whosoever? Whosoever, put your name in your Bible. Put your name beside on the, in the margin. Denise, in the margin. Faithful Chris, in the margin. Sandra Dawn, in the margin. Hallelujah, each and every one of you. Hannah, in the margin. Put your name in the margin. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be you removed, be removed, and cast into the sea. Hallelujah. Amanda, stick your name in the margin. Glory to God. And shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. Mm. He shall have whatsoever he saith. We have to have that faith, guys. And all it is is believing God's word. What has he shown you for your life for this year? What needs to be removed and cast into the sea? Focus in on that word. Yes, Focus in on that word. Glory to God. Ho, ho. Hallelujah. Verse 24. Jesus is still talking here. This is Jesus talking to you and me. This is his voice. Let's listen to this. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire, when you pray, when you pray, believe you receive them and you shall have them. When do you get it? When you believe. When you believe. When, you, when, when the penny drops in your heart, so to speak. When it goes boom in your... When the Word of God drops in your heart, that's when it comes to pass. When that Word becomes so real to you that there is no plan B. Nothing else is going to happen but what God said is going to happen. What The vision that Jesus has given you for your life, according to God's Word, Hallelujah. I always like to put that in there because some people think some interesting things. According to God's word. Amen. That, you know, if Jesus says greater work shall you do. That's God's word. Hello. We need to grab that. Grab that for yourself. Whatsoever you desire. And I looked up the word desire. Mm -mm -mm. Desire in the Greek in the Bible means ask, to require, to crave. And to call for. I don't know what you're desiring. I don't know what you're desiring. But God says yes to what you're desiring according to his word. Ask, require, crave, and call for. You know, healing is in the atonement. So if you need healing in your body or you want to pray for the sick and watch them heal, it's, it's already paid for. Jesus did that at the, uh, by his stripes you were healed when he was whipped on the whipping post. Every, every lash that he took, every stripe that he took was for the healing of the nations. 
for those who would believe on that word. Hallelujah. How do you obtain it? Look and see. Look at Jesus. Look what he's done. Every stripe he took for you. Every stripe on your body he took for you. Glory to God. As you see and believe, you shall have what you say. Whatsoever you desire. Whatsoever you desire. What is your whatsoever? I want you to, if you have your notebooks here, write down the word whatsoever and then make your list. What's your whatsoever? What's your whatsoever that aligns to the word of God that he said to you? What's a whatsoever that lines up with what God has shown you for your life, for your ministry, for the dreams you've had, for the things that have happened in your life? What is your whatsoever? Hallelujah. It shall surely come to pass. You know, we do go through challenges. I'm not saying we don't go through challenges, but I know that if I can get myself in the word of God and I get face to face with Jesus in the word of God and look at his word and say, that is for me. That is my life. This is the way it's going. I am changing things in my life because this is what God says. And God is working in me, bringing it to pass in my whole life. Not only just in me physically, but everywhere around me, everywhere around me. I don't know what you need. But it, as you get steely-eyed with your focus, as you become God's magnifying glass so that he can bring heaven to earth for you, hallelujah, you will see it in the earth. You will see the results of it in your life. Hallelujah. I believe this. I've seen it. I know this. Glory to God. Amen. Put it before your eyes. See what God says. These are spiritual things that many people don't ever hear, don't understand the teaching on, and they kind of try to... In, uh, intellectualize God. How can you intellectualize the man who gave you your mind? How can you, um, we're to reason together, but you know, there's this intellectualism that tries to discount God, tries to discount him. How can you discount, you know, 40% off today. Let's discount him. I'm gonna discount him today. No, no 40% off, no 30% off. 100% Jesus, 100% his word, 100% what he said to, for your life. Glory, glory to God. I love it. I love the word. Man, you guys are pulling today. Hallelujah. I love it. I love your hands up. I love your amens. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. If you had time, share uh, if uh, you'd like. Share, share and uh, bring in some more family. Amen. Glory to God. Oh, keeps on going. Let's let's look at this. Hallelujah. I got to find my spot here. Okay. Verse 24. I'm going to read it again. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you shall receive them and you shall have them. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 25. You know, I never, ever quote this scripture without finishing off what Jesus says. How do you cut someone off mid-sentence? We can't do that. We can't cut Jesus off mid-sentence. Let's finish what he had to say here. And when you stand praying, forgive if you have any odd against anyone, anyone, mm. and your Father which also is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. We have to walk humbly before God, don't we? We have to walk according to his word. And and the next scripture verse says, But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive you your trespasses. Now I know of some people who have actually said to me, I can never ever forgive this person for doing this. And they walk in such bitterness of heart. Bitterness in their mind, their soul, and you know, in their bodies. And they have sicknesses that just will not go away. Now, I'm not talking about anyone online here. This is someone from years and years ago. And, um, and, and I, I, I know that person is still walking in that bitterness of heart. He would not forgive this person. It was his decision. And the only person he was hindering was himself. So if you need to forgive someone today, Oh, do it now, do it now, do it now. It's a fresh new year. I don't know what's happened in the past. I don't know if, who it was. But the forgiveness is a decision of your heart to let it go and give it to God. Let him deal with the issue. 
Let him deal with the problem. He's going to do a much better job. Yes, no room for unforgiveness. Yes, it's too heavy. It's too hard on you. You walk in unforgiveness, you weren't, we, it's, it's not of God. It's not who he is. He's a forgiving, loving, tender-hearted, wonderful, awesome God who stands for truth. And hallelujah, who is truth. He is truth. He is, he is the living word. He is truth. Amen. Today, your good godly desires shall come to pass. But you know, in this, what do we see? But if you shall believe those things, what he shall say shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. There's some speaking that's involved here. What are you saying? In one minute, you're saying I can't. all things are possible. In one thing, minute, you're saying, I don't know if God's going to do this. Because, you know, the enemy tries to come in and press against you. And what you got to do is stand up and knock the enemy with the word of God in his face. All things are possible to them that believe. And I'm a believer. I'm born again. If you're born again, you're already a believer. You're already a believer. Amen. Hallelujah. And in your believing, there's your receiving. In your believing, there's your obtaining. In your believing and looking with your steely-eyed focus, God is using you to burn a way through for you for your victory. He's burning a hole. Hallelujah. Through every barrier that has stopped you in your past. He's he's creating a way for you. Hallelujah. I talked about this. I talked about how uh, on um, um, at a, a brunch that we had just after Christmas, a woman of God was telling me about how her husband, they had just got this brand new outdoor furniture for their house. And um, they had her husband left his glasses, his reading glasses on uh, one of the chairs. And it was in the middle of summer, it was really hot. It gets hot here in Canada, it gets really warm. And it was just at the right angle, the sun was at the right angle. What happened? It burnt a hole. It, uh, there was a hole in the furniture. It burnt all the way through. Now that was an accidental thing that happened. And many of us have, have received accidental miracles. But let's do this on purpose. It's about focus. It's about God giving us his word. And through the lens of our heart, we're seeing it come to pass in the earth. And as we're seeing it come to pass, God shall surely make it happen for us. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I'm on fire today. The Holy Ghost is here. The Holy Ghost is here. Hallelujah. You see, we see with the cult that Jesus had a word of knowledge and a word of wisdom. And he told the disciples, do this, this, and this, and you'll find it there. He made his wonderful entry into um, into Jerusalem, I believe. Yes, 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 yes. And, um, and then what happened? We saw him drive out the money changers. Hallelujah. And then we see him look for fruit from the fig tree. There was no fruit, so he cursed it and, and destroyed its purpose. And you, and this, I want to stop there for a second. Some of you need to destroy the purposes of Satan in your life. You need to come against some things that have been spoken about you. Some words that have been hanging over your head. Ask the Holy Spirit, what word from the past has been hanging over my head and following me? And you need to take a look at that word. And you say, in the name of Jesus, you words, you have lost your purpose. You will no longer bear fruit in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to get out in Jesus' name. And see, as you say those words, God is working with you and driving out those words from your life. And I even do that right now. Every negative word that has been spoken over in your life that says you can't do this, who has limited you in any way, I drive those words out of your heart, out of your life forevermore in the name of Jesus. I shut the door and seal it with the blood of Jesus Christ. And I declare your freedom from every negative word that has destroyed, had, had a purpose of destruction in your life, had a way of limiting you. I declare you are burnt out. Even as a, the, the son of righteousness was shining on you, he's driving out those things, not of God, 
that have limited your potential in Christ, that have limited what you've been called to do as a son or daughter of the Most High God. Yes, I know we're all sons, but I'm a daughter and I'm a son because I'm in Him. Glory to God. Oh, don't get me started. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, praise God. I'm looking at the time and I want to make these a little shorter. And next week we're going to look into some more examples of of that in the Word of God. And we're going to be looking at our seeing and we're going to look at what we're saying. What are we saying? I declare today is your day of victory. I declare this is your day of breakthrough. I declare your lines have fallen on pleasant places and you have a, go- a good godly her- inheritance. Your, your heritage is awesome in Christ Jesus. Jesus. Greater works shall you do in the name of Jesus Christ. God is for you. Who can be against it? You are the head and not the tail. You are above only and not beneath. Hallelujah. I praise God. You direct your path by the words of your mouth and the thoughts in your heart. I declare your memory is lined up with the thoughts of God. Your mind is lined up with the words of heaven. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Yes, start prophesying. Start prophesying over your life today. Start prophesying about what God has said about your life, what Jesus has said to you. Every word that has been prophesied, every good godly word that has been prophesied in your life, I bring to the surface of your heart, your soul, and your mind, your will, your emotions, and your intellect. In the name of Jesus, I command those words to rise up and bear fruit in your life. Now in the name of Jesus. Now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I decree that greater things are coming to pass. This is your year of of divine focus and obtaining those things that God has said for your life. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Glory, glory, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for bringing those things to pass in our lives. Everyone who hears this within the sound of my voice, who hears this message, who sees this message, I decree it's coming to pass. I decree it's coming to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Well, listen, I love you so much. We're going to be back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is on the west coast of Canada. It's a wonderful rainy, wet day, and uh, the sun of righteousness is raining down on us in this place. Glory to God, and His goodness is being manifest today, not only here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, but around the world, and is being brought to you by the agency of the awesome, magnificent Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God bless you all richly. I love you dearly, and we will talk soon. Praise God. I'm glad you came on. I'm glad you were able to make it. I'm glad you were able to be here with me. You know, it's not the same without you. I love you. You're important to me. I believe in you as God believes in you. Oh, that's okay, Anne. I understand. Catch the rewind. I'll be playing that shortly, and you'll be able to catch the whole a whole uh, broadcast. I love you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.